Hello, everyone, and welcome to our second ever What's New Wednesday. I'm so excited to have you joining me as we dive into the newest and most exciting features Canva has to offer as of April 2023. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Katie, and if this is the first time that you're joining one of my events, I am coming from Austin, Texas, and I am part of the design education team. So as part of that team, it's my job to make sure our talented users, that's you, understand how to use Canva to its fullest extent. So if that's something you're interested in, then you come to the right place and keep your eyes peeled for future events as we'll be running these monthly. At Canva, our team is constantly working on ways to update our platform, improve our existing features, and make sure that we're updating the features in the best way that we possibly can. And because we are always coming out with new and exciting features, we've started this once a month event to showcase just that. So let's get into what we'll be discussing today. Lots of magic on the schedule today. Okay, I'm gonna be dropping a link in the chat to our handbook that goes along with this event. Make sure to grab it as it'll go over everything we discussed today, but also because it has lots of great resources and links to help you start designing to your full potential today. All right, speaking of magic, did everyone get a chance to see Canva create in March? Well, Canva released so many features that I honestly didn't even know where to start with this event from AI to animation and everything in between. We really have so much that we could go over today. So make sure to grab the handbook to catch up on all of that. But for now, I chose these three new features today that I think are really exciting and that I'm hoping after this event, you can start using right away. So let's get into them. First up, we have Translate. Regardless of what you're creating or where you are in the world, you may often feel limited by language barriers. Well, not anymore, now that Translate is available. Whether you're creating a social media post or a corporate presentation, you can always make sure you're speaking your audience's language with this new feature. The Translate feature allows you to extend the reach of your designs to over a hundred languages. No more meticulous translating every word and every page. Now, with just a click of a button, you can speak the language of your intended audience. Honestly, I can see just about any type of creator or organization getting great use out of this feature. For instance, this will allow marketers to easily internationalize their content enterprises to share documents across their many offices around the world, nonprofits can now spread their message further, and social media creators can easily recreate a post for just about every language that their followers might speak. The possibilities are really endless. Let me know in the chat if you have a project that is going to this is going to help streamline. I am so interested to hear how you might use this. Now, Let's go over some of the details for Translate. This feature is available to most users, including free users, non-paid users. Now, if you're a non-paid user, you're gonna have a limitation of 50 page translations per lifetime. Whereas pro users are gonna have 500 page translations per month. And while this feature is available to users on all kinds of designs, at the moment, it's not available for Canva docs. Now, that being said, who's ready to see a demo? Okay, so I've got pulled up this quarterly report. And let's say I have some stakeholders in Spain and I wanna make sure that every page is translated into Spanish so I can start sharing with my team over there. So we've got these four pages. The first thing we're gonna do is go to apps. Now, it may already be listed at the bottom under more from Canva.
But if you don't see it, just go search your Canva apps. There you go. So now let's look at the settings. The first setting is reduce font size to fit. Now, let's say you have a word in the native language that is a little bit longer than it's going to be translated. You want to make sure your content is still fitting that space correctly. So let's go ahead and click that. And then duplicate page when translating. This just means it duplicates the page as opposed to replacing the page. We don't need to choose a language to translate from. It's going to automatically detect that. But now we're going to change the language to Spanish. But look at all the other languages. There are over 100 to choose from. Great. So let's go back to the first page. And now we're going to apply to page one. And just in seconds, look at that. You may need to do a little bit of reformatting, but I think it looks pretty good. Now the word, the bulletin, that is an uploaded SVG. That's a logo. So it's not going to translate that, but all the rest of the copy is translated. Let's try the next page. That is so quick and that looks so good. Just some minor formatting. All right, now I wanna point something out with this next translation. So let's go ahead and translate. It's a quote with somebody's name at the bottom. You'll notice the quote was originally attributed to a Philip. On the translated page, it's Philippe, which is the Spanish of Philip. Just be cognizant of that. If it's important to keep the names in the original language, just make sure to double check that. And we'll probably do the same with this one too. Okay, and now we have translated the entire doc, and now we can go ahead and share it with our international team. That was so great. How fun was that? And how easy was that? Making major changes to a design like that in just seconds, that's going to free up so much time for you. I just know it. Okay, speaking of making major changes to designs in just seconds, next up, we've got Magic Eraser. Photo bombers be gone with Magic Eraser. Clean up the background of images of your pictures in just seconds. Have you ever taken the perfect picture and then later realized somebody was stealing the scene in the background? Or maybe you've got a really great selfie and then later you realize there's a blemish there that maybe you wish that you could get rid of. Well, I'm here to tell you that just like magic, we're going to make those things disappear. All you need to do is just brush over areas of your images and they're gone, making major changes to the look and feel of your pictures. Now, this is one of a few photo editing updates released at Canva Create this year. So again, make sure to check out the Canva Create. It's in the handbook and have a look at some of the other really, really cool and impressive photo editing features. Also in the handbook, there's gonna be a link to a survey asking what you wanna see in May. So if you wanna see any of those features demoed then, make sure to go there and let us know. Okay, so a few things you need to know, some details about Magic Eraser. This is a paid feature. So if you're on Canva Pro, Teams, or an education plan, then this one is for you. So okay, you ready to see it in action? Great. Okay, great, so we have pulled up a picture. I have this ad here that I wanna make. I wanna send out, I have this gorgeous picture of this flamingo that I took. And I want to put this copy on top, but there's another flamingo there in the back and it's kind of distracting. I, I think it's kind of pulling away and I'm not really loving it. So we're just going to remove it. Click on the picture and go to edit photo. Right there, you'll see magic eraser. We're just going to adjust the brush size 
and brush over what we want gone. Now, this could take a few seconds. This could take a minute. It's really depending on how complicated the picture is, but just sit back and let the eraser do its magic. And voila. Now let's go back and see how that looks with our ad copy. Oh my God, that looks so much better. And how easy was that? Okay, I've got one more use case I wanna show you that I think you guys will really appreciate seeing. So we have this picture of this woman. And as you can see, she has a lot of tattoos. For whatever reason, let's say maybe we want to remove one or more of the tattoos. Well, we can do that with Magic Eraser as well. So go back up to edit photo. Now we're gonna leave the brush size kind of small on this one so we can be more precise. And just brush over that tattoo. Again, it's gonna depend on how complicated the tattoo is, what else is going on in the picture, but and now it's gone. I think that is so, so cool. This is a brand new feature and I cannot wait to see what kind of magic you create with this exciting new tool. That really is one of my favorite features. Let me know in the chat if you've already used it and if you can think of anything else that it's gonna help you streamline. Honestly, I feel like that could be a real lifesaver to some creators. All right, last but not least, Today, I wanna to talk about magic design. This was another feature released at Canva Create, and we have been hearing such great things from you, our users, on how this really is helping you create unique pieces in half the time. So let's take a closer look. Turn inspiration into design in no time. Simply upload an image, then select the style, and Magic Design will whip up a curated selection of unique templates just for you. It's the simple way to visualize any design. It can help you spark some inspiration, help you discover templates that otherwise might take you ages to find, and it's just gonna help you create something uniquely you in half the time. There's really no limit to what you can create with this. Presentations, save the dates, flyers, invitations, really anything you need. It's also a really great feature to serve as inspiration for when you're just feeling a little less creative that day. Let Magic Design do the legwork for you and then you can go in and customize your creation to be totally perfect. Let's see what that looks like in action, shall we? All right. So here's the home page, and we're going to go to templates and try magic design. Now, I want to create some invitations for my friend Claudia's birthday. So, invitation, and then insert media. I've got this gorgeous picture of Claudia. Let's go ahead and upload that. Okay. So automatically we've got some options. These are really cute, but I do wanna customize it a little bit. So headline, say Claudia's birthday party. Cool. Now go to the styles and we wanna add vibes and themes. So let's click happy. Let's click birthday since it is a birthday party. Now I know Claudia really likes gradients. So let me find the gradient theme. There it is. Cool. So now I want to find a style, a collection of colors and fonts that I want to use. Don't worry, you can recustomize it later. So I think this goes really well with this picture of Claudia. And look at that. There are some really good options here. These look really great, but I really like that second one. I think it really shows Claudia's personality. So I'm going to click on it and then just go in and do my own customizations. 
So, you know, obviously we're going to need to update the address, but then we can also go in and add our fonts that we like, resize everything. So let's, I want to change that color, make it something that pops a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, I like that purple. Great. And now I want to do a font from our brand kit right there. Perfect. Add that. Perfect. I'm going to just do a little bit more customizing. And now I'm going to go print the invitations to send out. And how cool is that? We went from no design to a finished design that we can print up in less than three minutes. Oh, I just really, really love that feature and how much time it's going to save you. Okay, so that was the three features for What's New Wednesday, April. Like I said, in the handout, there is a link to watch Canva Create Yourself. There were just so many features that we couldn't go over, but I'm really excited to hear what you think after watching that. It's on YouTube. Make sure to go leave us a comment and let us know what you're really excited to see. And again, take that survey. Also, here are some other features that were launched that I think would go really hand in hand with the items that we talked about today. As always, make sure you're checking out our Canva resources and our other upcoming Canva events. We want to make sure you're in the know. Speaking of being in the know, anytime that you feel like you need an upskill or just a reminder on how to use any of the Canva features, head to design school. That's canva.com slash design school. There are modules made for just about any skill set that you can take at your own pace to be constantly upskilling. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. This was so much fun and I will see you again next month. Thank you.